it's really exciting actually. We're embarking on a bit of a program with the landholders and with Haysbury Landcare Group to put the finishing touches on our fire recovery program from the Southwest fires from 2018. And so this project's really looking at trying to do some direct seeding using the, um, the drones and using this pretty new technology to get out into the middle of these fire affected peat swamps and um, trying to uh, repair some of the damage that was done. Lake Cobra Co is basically surrounded by farmland. The whole of the swamp other than the water body is actually owned by, by three or four landholders. That's a fairly unique situation. It's always been a pretty nice place to look over the hill at. It floods in winter and grows all sorts of stuff and you have swans and all sorts of birds and stuff there. The main reason this area in particular was so hard hit in the 2018 fires was it's a peat swamp. So the, the ecology and the, and the geology of this system here means that when the, uh, when the fire came into this area, the peat swamp ignited, the peat material ignited, which is a really, really dense material that, that goes down a number of metres through this area. And so when that caught fire and caught fire at a really depth in a deep in the profile of the soil, it took a long time for firefighting resources to be able to uh, manage the fire and put it out. Of course, when the fire comes through, we have these extraordinary images of uh, the soil being burned out from underneath the trees and the trees basically suspended in, in the landscape by the roots. So it's some, quite an amazing sight where usually it's the reverse of the trees burned down and then the soil is left intact. The vegetation community that is within the lake bed was severely impacted by the fire um, and we have had some recovery within the area um, but where we haven't had that recovery this is where this technology can be used to actually help um, put seed back into areas um, that aren't showing signs of recovery. Some of the farmers lost vegetation, some of them lost buildings and some of them had to deal with the smoke that came out of the peat um, for a number of weeks after the fire had come through. We live about a kilometre north from the Cobra Cay Lake, our house is. Our farm's all around it. The fire's come through and pretty much burnt out yeah, a lot of our peat lands. Yeah, it's a lot of area we couldn't use. Um, we couldn't live at home for a couple of months because it was too smoky and carbon monoxide and all that sort of jazz. So has a pretty long lasting effect on what we do as a, as a business and a family. We've done a lot of work with adjoining landowners in revegetating and, and re-establishing shoulder belts and the thought process came about as to how do we recover a, a peat swamp or a lake without you know kind of introducing human interference and, and basically found a, a drone company who've done a quite extensive work in the way of you know seeding and chemical spraying um, and saw it as basically a new option or a new technique to, to kind of help um, in recovery. It's unsafe to go out on certain sections of Lake Cobra Co. And by using drones, it allows us to reseed uh, the burnt out sections of the swamp. Uh, we'd definitely be able to actually get the, the seeds or the actual liquid straight on target. Um, so less drift, less wastage of chemical or seeds. Our accuracy level or positioning accuracy level is down to two centimetres uh, horizontally and 10 centimetres vertically. So the aircraft's capable of um, attaching two different uh, payload systems on it. One is your liquid spraying component, which allows you to do liquid application, and also a granular, which is already attached onto the aircraft right there. But what we also have here is your surveying aircraft as well. So that's our scouting aircraft. So that's the actual eyes for the system. That will enable to actually capture all the information that we need for the application aircraft to go and apply that particular data that we capture. For example, the terrain information, the health of the actual plants itself, so where it actually needs more fertiliser, where it needs less. We've been lucky with this Cobrico sort of community here. They took an impact with the fire, but since that, and we've been going through the recovery phase with them, They've been really open and really um, trusting of us coming in and doing this sort of sort of innovative approach to recovery. Today's pretty exciting, I guess. It's we've got a, some pretty whiz bang bits of equipment here that are going to plant some trees and hopefully make the place look a bit prettier and take some water out of the ground so we don't have any salinity issues and things like that that we that are quite a worry for us. We're wanting to help the environment re-establish and still give some homes to you know the, the native birds and, and animals that do exist along the lake bed. Southwest Victoria has quite a large number of volcanic peat swamps around 
um, and the concern is as future fire potential means that we may have more of these fires in time um, and getting at least some understanding as to whether or not it, it's a technique that it can be used in recovering um, areas such as Cobra Co Lake means that it, it can potentially be used more broadly within this region if we do by chance have more peat fires. One feature of the, the project is that we're aerial seeding half of it to see how the, how the plants grow back or re-establish themselves. Some are areas we're not seeding and the idea is, that, is to get a comparison between the two. So, so if there is no difference between areas aerial seeded and those that are not, then you could sort of say from that that um, natural recruitment is, is the way to go. And uh, so yes, I guess it's, it's effectively a trial from that point of view. When peat burns out, it's, it's kind of not safe in some areas to go there. So we can demonstrate that that uh, drones are a useful technology. We can also present this as a as a uh, I guess a test case to delve into other bodies to say that when it comes to restoration of the landscape after a fire, and particularly in the peat body or water body this is a really good way to go. The project that we're implementing here at, at Cobra Co Lake is a really big sign of, of how organisations such as um, you know, government departments, land care groups and private businesses can kind of work together in a collaborative network um, to basically help you know, solve problems. Um, it shouldn't all be just the landowners or, or land care or the department forest and fire. Um, this project shows that collaborative networking is a really good way of working together to meet a common goal.